And as we head down to the start now for the Remnant, the Open Women's Eight, I'm Sarah Cook and I'm joined now by Jim Harlow in the commentary box. Good afternoon, Sarah. How are you? I'm very well. We've had some great racing and it looks like we've got another one here in the Remnant, the Oxford Brooks University uh, on the left-hand side of the screen and Yale University from the USA on the right-hand side. Wow, what a battle this is going to be. Yeah, you'd expect Yale to be the stronger crew, but uh, Brooks are certainly not giving up anything, are they? It's, the really, it's tight coming down at the end of the island. I think Yale may be just squeezing out to a little bit of a lead, but it's really close. And as we said earlier, happy July 4th to all the Americans who are joining us on the broadcast this morning. We've got a huge number of crews from the United States competing at Henley. That number's been increasing each year, and it's great to have them here competing. Especially tomorrow. An important day for them, I think. So tricky conditions off the start. There's a little bit of a tail and crosswind. And that wind can catch just coming uh, off the end of the island. And it's really tight too. There's only probably well, two or three metres to play with on either side between the dreaded booms on the outside of the course and between the blades as we saw in the, uh, the Y-fold heat a couple of races ago and how close the boats are together and how close you are from things going wrong. But Yale looking incredibly powerful. We, we would expect them to be so strong, these US college crews. And Brooks hanging in there. They're, they've still got a bit of overlap there, but this Yale crew would be coming here to send a message, particularly on day one. And it looks like they're starting to squeeze away. They're probably rating one or two less strokes a minute than the uh, Brooks crew, and it's out to a length, maybe a length and a half now, actually, looking at the TV sh shots. And if you're tuning in, Yale, the crew, clearly from the uh, Bucks side closest to us, now Brooks going past Upper Thames, Rowing Club and Remnant Club. Run about half, just over past halfway down the course. As we ride here with the crew from Yale University in the United States, we can see the stroke Daisy Ignazio Manson. Brilliant shot that is as the uh, drone turns back to the Empire's launch. Following the two crews as they come past Remnant Club, cover the left hand side, you see them in, the, uh, in your view. Length about two lengths now, both crews sitting at about 35 strokes a minute. Yale commanding lead at this point. So Yale placed ninth in the final of NCAAs this year and they've almost brought their full varsity lineup with only one change. They were runners up at the Ivy League Championships and finished ninth at the, as I said, at the NCAAs. But Brooks have got good form too. They've um, came second at the Bucks Regatta earlier in the year and they've got a silver at Ghent too. And Oxford Brooks, such an incredible club, so much strength. I mean, certainly in Australia, they're one of the university clubs that we... Uh, look at and, and would love to be able to emulate the, the program and the depth that they have. It's, uh, it really is an incredible club that's become so strong in eights rowing uh, and certainly a, an example for what we'd love to be uh, back home. But uh, we can see Yale University on screen here. They've really been dominant from the first stroke. Yeah, they're in control now, aren't they? You didn't just mention Brooks. The women's side of the boat club, not quite as strong as the men's club, which is supremely dominant at the moment, but they're developing and they're getting there. And they'll be getting some support now, coming past the enclosures. The regatta enclosure, first of all, they'll have lots of supporters cheering them on, and they're closest to it, so it should give them a big boost. Yes, yeah, certainly the home crowd, no doubt, will be cheering along Oxford Brooks University. And you can see they've changed, they've taken their stroke gate up a couple of pips, up at about 38 now. I mean, loads of support, loads of people cheering them on. And they're really close to the crowd too, only maybe five or six metres away from them. So you really hear, hear them and it gives such a buzz when you come down this course. It is unlike any other ring. That's the thing that really struck me racing here was how close the crowd are. You, you feel like you could almost, as you get towards the, line, uh, the finish line, you could almost reach out and touch them. They feel so close and it is just such an incredible event to be a part of. It's been a while since we've seen the Yale University Women's Eight. They're showing their prowess, a crew full of junior number 23 internationals. And the head coach, Will Porter from Yale, he said that it's very exciting to be coming to England and getting to race against the world, and that's really what this regatta is becoming. It is becoming a global regatta, and we know that 
many of you will be in the United States watching this, seeing Yale University take out this first round of the Remenham Challenge Cup, defeating Oxford Brooks University.